Arkansas State next hosts Miami this upcoming Saturday. Game will kick off at 2.30 p.m. Central Time and will be televised on ESPNU. So if you have a question for Coach Anderson, please remember to press star 1 to get in the queue. I believe we are joined by Coach Anderson at this time. Good morning, Coach. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Doing well, thank you. And, uh, you know, again, we, we talk a lot of football on this uh, teleconference, but I just want to take a moment to express um, our support for you and, you know, your wife's uh, journey to get to this point. And it was very happy news to hear that she is cancer-free. And I'm um, just giving you our, our thoughts and prayers as you go through this process right now. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's uh, it's been a, an emotional six months, and uh, but uh, appreciate everybody's support. It's been it's been wonderful. Well, thanks again for joining us this morning, Coach. Um, before we get started with questions from the media, could you just give us your thoughts on last week's game against Nebraska? Well, I'm not much for moral victories, and uh, people that know me know that pretty well. But um, you know, we we did a lot of good things, but just really feel like we came out of a game that we we could have won spent all day yesterday trying to uh, just uh, make corrections on mistakes that were made that we feel like cost us a game. I, I thought the guys played uh, with tremendous effort and energy. Uh, we, you know, we thought speed was our advantage and it, and it played that way uh, on game day. Uh, but, um, you know, just again, as hard as we played and as well as we played at times, made uh, a few too many mistakes between missed tackles and dropped passes. Uh, that uh, that just kept us from winning a game. So um, hard to be real excited about it when you, when you know you left one out there that was winnable. And so we we've got to improve from week one to week two. The challenge gets even more difficult with with Miami coming in. We take all the size that uh, Nebraska had, and you add that with speed, and you negate our speed advantage, and we still have some size disadvantages. And so it, it is a tremendous challenge uh to uh to find a way to improve and then find a way to get a win here at home against one of the best teams in the country coach thank you very much we'll go to our first questions from luke matheson with redwolfreport.com hey coach i know one of the positives was justice hansen sending the school record for completions with 46 in the game no he had a big game 46 of 68 passing 450 yards three touchdowns um, what can you do to build on that this week heading into Miami? Well, for one, I mean, we, we, we had, we had 10 drops, so we, we, we can, we can help ourselves just by being more focused on, on, on catching the ball when we're, when we're open and, and catching the ball in competitive situations, you know, justice can improve and, and still had a few that, that got away from him. But, uh, I, I think the confidence that it builds is moving forward is that we, we know that all the work we've put in, over the summer and off season to to be able to throw in the catch the ball well and uncover ourselves versus man coverage. I mean, we spent a lot of time and effort and energy on those things. And you saw that in the game, and I think we bring confidence out of the game knowing that against a really really good opponent, we were still able to throw and catch the ball uh, very well at times, and, and kind of kicking ourselves that we that we missed as many opportunities as we did. And three of those drops came in the end zone that would have would have you know, counted for another fourteen to to 21 points, depending on how the, how the game went. So, um, you know, I, I felt all along that he could do the job. I mean, we've had confidence in him and he's grown up every day. Now we just want to, we want to settle him in and get him, get him more and more comfortable every week. And then the guys around him, uh, you know, just, uh, continue to settle into their roles as well. Right. I know defensively you guys did some good things as well. Obviously the, the Kyle Wilson safety and then late in the game, able to hold, um, Nebraska, when you guys started to rally back, what will be the things you guys will work on defensively to get ready for Miami this week? You know, just uh, for us, communication in the back end still still got guys working together for the first time, uh, which is always tough. We, uh, you know, the challenges are going to be uh, even more difficult this week because uh, you know Miami is extremely big. I mean, they're, they're they're long, maybe even longer in terms of just uh, wingspan and length uh than we saw against nebraska but then you've got the power and size to go with it uh so you know where we felt like we had an advantage at times a week ago with speed and quickness uh, you know most of those are going to be gone and we, we we still had 17 missed tackles uh in open space that accounted for another 175 yards of offense 
and we had a couple of communication busts that uh, that gave up an explosive play or two. One gave the touchdown away. And to me, it's it's really more about us than it is about Miami. We know they're going to be extremely talented and really good uh, in in basically every position, uh, offensively and defensively. But it's the it's the mistakes that we made that that we can't afford to make again. We we can't drop the ball offensively and defensively. We can't miss tackles in one on one situations and give up more yardage. And we can't have coverage breakdowns and busts because of poor communication. So. We've just got to improve our job and then see how that relates to Miami. All right, Coach, appreciate it. Thank you, Luke. Uh, we'll go to our next questions from Christopher Heidel with HURV FM Sports Radio. Hey, Coach Anderson, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good. I'm, cl- I'm glad your wife's doing uh, much better with that cancer thing, and my prayers are out to your family, too. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Um, taking on Miami, what do you see getting ready for a hurricane squad that has a very good running back in Walton? So how are you going to contain him on Saturday? Well, good luck containing any of them because if you, you you deal with him, then you got dudes like Berrios and all the other guys. And, and I mean, th- th- there's there's too many weapons to to concentrate on one. We we've got to uh, we got to try to get eleven hats around the ball. Uh, we, we saw a big running back this week, big physical running back, but just even the speed that we're going to get. Uh, from Walton is gonna is gonna change the game and, and even when he's out on the field, the, I think the, uh, the the backup number 24 is maybe even more explosive and quicker than him. Uh, you can kind of get you can kind of get cross-eyed and confused if you start trying to figure out all the different weapons. They're all good, they're all fast, and they're all big. That's why they're picked to win the coastal. Uh, so it, it kind of goes back to the the previous question and answer that I did, Luke. This is going to be more about us just a getting guys on the ground, minimizing the big play, uh, and, and you know, hoping that we can, you know, make them extend a drive and make a mistake. Maybe we bat a ball and pick a ball off or, or, or even get them off schedule. But when you look at player by player, mm-hmm. there's going to be very few, if any, matchups that we win on paper. So it, it's going to come down to sound, solid, mistake-free football on both sides. And also, their defense is pretty good too. They're like basically they're <laughs> sophomores. A lot of sophomore defense people there at Miami, like um, Shaquille yeah. uh, Furman. Yeah. So just talk about the defense. You know, what do you have to? Well, do? I've heard I've heard uh, several experts say maybe the best front seven in the country, and and on paper and on film they look to be just that. Uh, again, the size that we saw a week ago from Nebraska, but but you add the speed to go with it and change the direction. You know, we had advantages offensively against Nebraska's defense because of our speed and our quickness and even our, our size at wideout. And, and all those are negated this week against Miami. Uh, and so we, we, we get the same thing. We cannot drop the ball. We dropped 10 passes this week. We cannot give them anything. We, we've got to play mis- mistake-free football against probably the best defensive front in the country. Well, good luck on Saturday. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. And, Coach, thank you very much for your time this week, as always. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys.